Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about kind of what makes vlogging fun for me and what I do to make it so that I can be a little more creative with it. And to start is I actually don't create in the vlogs. I don't stage stuff, you know, like, hey, I'm going to sit down and today we're going to look at this piece of furniture in my house or something like that. No, 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 no. I actually take whatever I'm doing, I plan my day out first, and then if I see an opportunity to film a vlog, I'll film it, right? So like some of the vlogs, you know, before a live stream, I'll take my phone out and be like, hey, this is the problem I have, da da da, or the stream went well, or maybe this item I'm selling for myself, something like that, I'll film it for myself. And it makes the vlog almost, you know, more, not like the creative part, obviously, but it's kind of like it isolates the idea part and makes it more so, okay, how am I going to film this for it to make sense? It kind of eliminates the creative part and it makes it more fun because that creativity is spent on the documentation part rather than the idea that I'm going to talk about. And this kind of leads into the next point. And the vlog for me, I don't spend much time on it at all, really. Like, even though I spend maybe 10 to 15 minutes a day filming for it and five minutes editing it because I already, you know, I have to trim everything up, but I already know nothing important. You know, I don't have to cut out anything most of the time. And even though I have to do all that, the thumbnail and everything, it doesn't seem that intrusive to what I'm doing. And it's because um, what I did to make the vlog more fun is I made my video process more streamlined, right? Like most YouTube videos, I would say that I make, you know, this type of stuff, you don't need really to watch. You just need to listen to, right? So I don't have to worry about, okay, made Oblivion video, sit down, film the gameplay, do this, do that, do this, do that, right? Like, because if, if I realized anything, it's that in most most video game videos, if the person's good enough at explaining, they don't need gameplay, right? Unless it's something where it's like, all right, this is a complicated series of events. I'm going to show you how to do this, right? That's kind of where the line is drawn for me. So then when it comes to just filming the vlog in general, I don't worry about whether or not I make mistakes in it or not. And I have to refilm something because first of all, it's documentary, right? It's just, I film this, and that's what I have to work with. I can take stuff out, but I can't reshoot or add something in, right? And even if there's such a big mistake that I'm not going to have a vlog available and I have to do that one where I just sit down and talk to it, that's more content for that one. I'm like, hey, all my film messed up. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. You know, here's what I was going to say. And then my thoughts are complete. And it's like, okay. You know, it's got a safety net in it that allows me to not worry about not having a video and it also lets me just not focus on the creative part of the vlog right and it's it, that's the main point right remember vlog of a small youtuber yeah i figured out that that was not really sustainable and it was basically this but just youtube and to me i'm like you know i'm more than just a youtube person and so that's what it comes down to and I mean, the light over here is adorable. I love this light so much, but it's interrupting my, my flow. I can look over here and it's white. Why? I don't get it. But what it mainly comes down to is vlogging is fun for me because it's, I can put basically as much creativity as I want into it, right? If I want to do something bigger, right? There has to be a definite reason. So I'm not just going to like... I don't know, walk around outside for the vlog, right? If I'm going to walk outside and multitask, take the dog, right? If I'm going to, let's just say, exercise for a vlog, that's actually very beneficial if you ask me, exercising for a vlog, because it's, you know, obviously. You know, so it lets me incorporate important things at, along with the filming process, and it makes it so the content within it I'm more proud of than just, oh, pile of, or let, watch me make my bed. <laughs> I made my bed, see, I'm normal human. No, it's, it's more 
nuanced, and it's really nice for me to watch back. Just I could watch back one of these, and a day is meaningful. It really like when you stop to think about it, because you know I have to think about what I'm gonna say. I gotta explain what I'm doing, but I gotta think about what I'm gonna say. It really makes my days seem a lot more meaningful, and so I think the vlog not only is it, is it fun, of course, because you know it's not as much work, but it has a good it adds a good purpose to actually making the vlog and i think it makes it more feel like valuable content to me rather than just another video it's kind of like almost journaling i guess i never really have journaled but that's what it seems to me is it's more of a journaling type thing than making a video if that makes any sense and that's really where i'm going to end this video so that's what makes vlogging fun um for me. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Also, if you vlog, what makes it fun for you? I want to know that because, you know, everyone has a different uh, thought of what is fun and what's not and whether something's valuable or not. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games and I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.